Hey, anyways, I was saying that that guy Keith Richards, he um, is in this show, Sky King, and it's the episode's called The Dog Called or Named Barney. And watch that if you really want to see him being bad. I also like to say that I always like to tell people he's the father of the Rolling Stones, Keith Richards. A lot of times people, when I tell them that, they'll look at it and they'll and they'll believe me, but, but he actually isn't. Next on the list I'd like to talk about is Robert Shane. Now, Robert Shane, he's the carnival director in this, and you all know him. If you don't, he was the Inspector Henderson on the Superman TV show. He did a lot of stuff, too. And that guy, believe it or not, he, he was born in the year 1900, and he lived to be 92 years old. So he died in 1992. Now, Gregory Gay, he's the other bad guy in the show. He's the guy you see on the sub printing the money. And Gregory Gay is playing a Russian. You know, they don't actually come out and say the Russians. But, yeah, it's they, you know, they say that foreign country that's printing money and is trying to flood the... Europe's with American money, so it'll be worthless. Well, Gregory Gay actually was born in Russia, and guess what? He was born in Russia in the year 1900, and he died when he was 92. That's, that's pretty amazing. These two guys are both born in 1900, and both lived to be 92 years old. And if you look them up on the independent movie database, you'll be like amazed at all of these people, the credits that they've got, and all the stuff they were in. You'll see that they were they work together all the time. Another thing, Robert Shane, if you want to watch him in a classic, classic movie, check him out in The Neanderthal Man. He actually is The Neanderthal Man. They do, it's, a, it's a cheap flick, but the makeup's pretty good, and when you see him turn into the, to a Neanderthal, it ain't bad, actually. And he's running around like a, like a crazy... S.O.B. There's Gregory Gay there, not these two guys. That's Terry Frost, and that's Keith Richards right there. There's Gregory Gay. I seen, I, first time I remember, you know, he's playing the Russian in this, but I always thought he was maybe from Germany, but he always would play the, the bad German guy, too. And uh, that guy, Terry Frost, on the left, he was a big-time uh, stuntman, and he has tons of credits, too. You probably never heard of him, but he's in. You've you've seen him. You've seen him. If you if you're if you watch TV, if you grew up watching TV Land and stuff like that, you've seen these guys. And this guy just walked in here on the left. That's Rick Valen. Valen, Valen, whatever you want to call him. Tons of credits. You can he can be seen on the Superman Adventures of Superman. Also, there's a whole lot of guys in this. A lot of people in this show that they all. We're on the Adventures of Superman. There's another guy called Maritz Hugo, and he's on Superman. He's got lots and lots of credits, too. He, you only see Maritz Hugo in Chapter 1 of this serial, and he's the guy that's passing the money, and he starts yelling, Hey, Rube, hey, Rube, and all the fights breaks out. I imagine they, I didn't look him up, but I bet you in 1955, he must have been doing something else that pulled him away from this show. Harry Lauder there in the middle in the white shirt, by the way, he actually plays uh, the Apostle Andrew in the, Living Christ T in the Living Christ series. It's a pretty good series if you're into that sort of thing. I've got the whole set. It's like, it's probably over six hours long. And just a side note, Bob Wilson plays Jesus Christ in, in that uh, series. And Bob Wilson, which I, I'm going to do, I want to do a video just about him in the Living Christ series. So I'm going to stop with that right now. And I'll talk about that later. But um, yeah, Rick Valen, he was in Superman. And this guy, and another guy in this series, which is amazing, is Robert Clark. Now, Robert Clark did a, he, he's not here, you won't see him in this episode here, but Robert Clark has a big, long credits lineup, too. And the last movie Robert Clark made was in 2005, when he was 85 years old. And he died when he was 85, and that movie was called The Naked Monster, if you can believe that one. Then we had... Uh, I, I talked about uh, Frost and Hugo. Stuart Whitman's in this. Now, Stuart Whitman became a big, huge star, but he was actually a light heavyweight boxer in the Navy, and he was born in 1928, and believe it or not, he's still alive and still running around. And 
the funny part about this movie is, and what I love about this movie is it's about, let's face it, they're talking about the Russians. And they're printing money on the submarine so they can flood Europe and make American money worthless. Because people say, well, this money's fake. There's just tons of it, and it's worthless. And you hear about that today still. All you hear people talking about is how they've printed so much money that the American dollar is worthless. And if you think about it, it sort of makes sense. Yeah, there's so much of it. It must be worthless. But if you look at it from another angle, the way I look at it is I hope they keep printing. I want them to print tons of it because... If everybody in the world, and pretty much everybody in the world, has got U.S. dollars, I mean, just everybody uses the stuff, if all of a sudden you said it was worthless, everybody would freak out because everybody's got greenbacks, Yankee dollars, whatever the hell you want to call them. So I say flood the world with the stuff, and then it should always hold its value, I hope. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this was Cold War stuff, 1955. That's when, you know, we, we were for sure going to have a nuclear war and with Russia, and it never happened. It came pretty close in 63 with the Bay, not the Bay of Pigs, but the Cuban Missile Crisis. Bay of Pigs is a, another chapter in the Cuban story. But uh, that's what they were feeding. You know, this was, little kids were going to see this stuff, so they wanted to prime all the little kids to make sure they knew who the enemy was at that time. If they were making this today... It'd be it would be Arabs running around in these old Fords printing money on a submarine. That's another thing. I love watching these shows. That's not a fifty five Ford there. That's a fifty four, I believe. Might be a fifty three, but I'm gonna say it's a fifty four. And uh there goes a Merc. But just great action. There she is. That, that, that lady I was saying about, she's 21 and she wound up, you know, teaching math. Well, she was a math major out of the co Miami, University of Miami. It's Keith Richards and Terry Fruskin. I don't know what cave that is. It's not the Bronson Cave that's real famous. If you know about all these old movies, Bronson's Cave's over there, right not, not too far from the Hollywood sign and not too far from uh, that observe the Griffith Observatory. I guess it's sort of partly in Griffith Park. Just other things to talk about. But uh, I always get talking fast because I I use this camera and to talk on it. I always I only have so much time and then it times out on me, and so I I get talking fast trying to squeeze everything in and it, and I get you know I, it just doesn't go the way I'd like it to. But I see I got a little time left, so I'm going to keep talking about Harry Lauder. That guy right there on the left. And like I says, in 1955, you heard me read off all the stuff he did in just that one year. And he, and he did this every year for countless years. One of the last things I remember watching him on was a, uh, the Batman movie. If you see this, if you ever watched one of the Batman movies, that's with uh, oh, Burt Ward, I guess. I, I I I get their names. I get mixed up with the names. You know the old TV series. They made a few movies. You know you had Cesar Romero and and uh, Burgess Meredith and the Catwoman there. Uh, Newman. I can't think of her first name right now. They would. Anyways, what's his name? Harry Lauder is in that. He's got a small part. I'm pretty sure he plays a news reporter. And he asks. You know he's asked Batman something, but. Or Bruce Wayne, I guess he asked. I, I can't remember. But if you watch these people and you get to know them, you'd be, it kind of gets fun watching films and seeing them. And they're like, wow, here he is. Up oh, there he is over there. Sometimes they just got, a, they're on the screen for just 10 seconds. And other times, they, you know, they're the star or the co star. But they always put on a solid performance. That's always, that's, I always get a kick out of these places where they got these boulders that you know you can slide them across and go into secret passages and all that i've been talking a lot i haven't been making much sense but these people deserve a lot of respect at least i do just get a chance watch them just watch them ride a horse and then you think about it and get on think about getting on a horse and going at a full gallop with a bunch of other people right next to you and in front of you and behind you and weaving it out of the those like some of those cowboy movies out there where there's all these boulders and rocks those things aren't made out of styrofoam you go off that horse you and you hit one of them you're probably if not dead you're not going to be going to work tomorrow 
Thanks a million and happy trails to you.